19. All right, first up, if we ignore all these exponents for a second, and in fact, these parentheses, we see that this squared is not going to actually kill or remove this negative. This is thought of as negative one times d squared. All right, that's important because if, if the negative goes away, we need to be able to identify where it does because if we just even change this problem slightly and move these exponents around, the negative might go away at a different spot or maybe there's a potential it won't go away. All right, so we've got this and then we have 10 and we have cubed. All right, we're just gonna go, before we decide if we can do this out of order, we're just gonna go in order. Um, we're gonna apply the 10. So that would mean then we have negative one to the 10th because this is wrapped in parentheses. So now the negative one is in parentheses raised to the 10th power because there's a one here. One times 10 is 10, so that's its new exponent, times d to the 20th. And whatever I get there, I'm going to cube. Negative 1 to the 10th with parentheses like this is 1 times d to the 20th cubed is d to the 60th. Because 1 cubed is 1, and we normally don't put coefficients of one in our final answer. So our final answer is d to the 60th.